So whether you're an artist looking to break into the music industry, a music producer seeking new techniques, or someone who simply wants to gain a deeper understanding of the music business, Music with a Twist is the perfect platform for you. Vision Oasis is excited to announce that Lolo is forthcoming single and EP releases. Lolo's previous album, Taurus, was a testament to his talent, receiving widespread acclamation for his innovative fusion of music styles. His previous interviews and radio airplay campaigns have introduced his work to a global audience that is eager for more. With a growing presence on social media and music platforms and his captivating music videos, Lolo is working on something extraordinary. His future releases promises to solidify his position in the music industry and he wants us to be a part of this incredible journey. We will be inviting to our podcast Lolo, a featured artist from Atlanta. Now, Lolo, we'd like you to tell us a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, thank you for having me first off. Um, I'm currently living in Atlanta. I was born in North Carolina, but mainly raised in New Jersey. Um, I've been singing since I was a kid, but I put out my first um, mixtape or ET um, or EP about three years ago now, and that's where my musical journey actually picked up. Was when I first put out my first EP, Dystymia. So now I've been singing, like I said, my whole life, but now it's actually a dream come true that I'm doing it professionally. All right, so where did the music actually begin? You know, we want to know, um, you know, how did it start? You know, where did you start? Was it you were singing in the bathroom? You know, that's how we all start, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, was it that you were in the church choir? You know, were you doing some club features? You know, what was it? How did it all start, you know? And you got that eureka moment like, hey, I need to get in a studio and create some music. All right. So it actually all started when I was a kid. I used to run around and, you know, sing like everybody does, especially in Black households. We all kind of just... Mm-hmm. You know, we all integrate music into our day-to-day living, whether we're making up songs while we're cooking or we're just singing, you know, the old Black classics and stuff from the 60s and 70s and things like that. And as I got older, probably when I became a teenager, that's when I had started to hear my voice a little bit more, you know, in a context of actually being able to sing. And so I started studying music and things like that. I didn't start off in a choir. I kind of wish I did. I could have got some hours in. Um, I just yeah. was self-taught. Um, I kind of listened to myself. I found artists that were similar in terms of how I sang, and I kind of studied them a little bit more, um, even if they were tonally similar to me or if where they were singing from in their voice was somewhere that I felt really comfortable. I kind of looked at how they were able to handle their instrument and I kind of learned from there. So over the years, just studying and practicing and I'm still learning um, every day because I'm nowhere near, um, you know, a vocalist, but I definitely can hold my own. So yeah, my journey started just in my bedroom, basically just writing and Mm -hmm. learning to read music. I started studying piano and learning to play piano when I was younger. And so from there, like I said, it just kind of built. The more I studied, the more I learned um, into what it is now. I got started recording my first EP, which was titled Dysthymia, um, shortly after my father had passed. And I needed an outlet at that time um, because I was going through a serious bout of depression. So that's what kind of pushed me um, into the studio to kind of get that feeling out of me and once I got that out I realized that it felt like a calling so I just went ahead and took it by the reins and from there um, hopefully my musical career will take off from that point so now my first album Taurus is out and so yeah this is my first musical child I guess I really say 
Okay, great. I was going to ask you, you know, if you do play any instruments because I find out that a lot of artists, um, they play some sort of instrument and they venture out into singing as well. So that's pretty great. So what would you consider as your favorite genre, you know, and how is that? genre of music has uh, been infused into your style um favorite genre that's kind of hard um of course r&b um but i don't have an exact favorite genre per se um i really enjoy listening to acapellas <laughs> um i like to hear the voice and i like to hear the way that they use their voice in the song so I listen to a lot of acapellas. Um, mm. I do curve more into, you know, listening to R&B, but I also like alternative rock. I like 80s music. Um, I like slow jams. I'm a fan of, you know, anywhere from Isley Brothers up to, you know, Jasmine Sullivan of today. Um, yeah, I don't really have an exact favorite genre, but from what I listen to on the daily, all of it, um, is infused in my album tours, um, down to even how I approach certain songs like High. I heard um, artists like Coldplay in mind. So the way I kind of did like the harmonies, they weren't overly used or anything like that. I wanted it to kind of be more of like a floaty, ethereal song. I wanted the same feeling I got from when I heard Clocks by Coldplay, for example. Um, or when I heard songs like More and Taurus, I wanted to imbibe it. I kind of wanted to incorporate more background. So I infused a lot of what I had learned from listening to acapellas from Mariah, Beyonce, Michael. Of course, I'm nowhere near that level, but I was able to hear what I could do from what I heard from them. And I kind of did my own interpretation of it, I guess you'll say, on the more pop sounding tracks because I wanted it to be more of like a earful of not only the beat, but me. I wanted to fill up the song mm -hmm. in the back because that's just as important as what you hear in the front. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of what I hear, I tend to take little things from and that's how I build my art. Okay, great. That's beautiful. Um, that's really quite common, you know, with a lot of artist styles. Um, especially if you're like in the R&B field, you have that little taste of jazz or rock, you know, and it all depends on what you really do listen to. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard you talk a little bit about your song, Taurus, and I know that you have some other songs out as well. You know, can you tell us a little bit about your songs? What's the latest song right now? Um, yeah. What would be like your first song you experimented on, you know? Yeah, I can definitely do that. So the album Taurus, um, it, it houses the many aspects of who I am, um, not only as a Taurus, but just as the human I am. And I needed a space that I was able to show more depth to the kind of character that I am. So when it initially started, I didn't have a title or an idea in mind. I had wrote a song called Congratulations, which is a song that was congratulating myself on how well I was doing. It sounds a little vain when I say it, but I kind of needed to congratulate myself and, you know, take in what I had accomplished in life. Um, and so I built the songs around that particular sound at the time. And as I was writing, I started to notice that certain things were starting to sound a little bit more personal. So I was able to kind of build off of that and I said I know there's other people out there that think the way that I'm thinking I'm just trying to figure out how to put it in a way where people engage with it a little more to kind of look at it like hey that seems like something I would go for especially being indie so mm -hmm. I looked up the personality traits of a tourist and magically I matched almost everything down to a T so I said well this is perfect so I'll be able to use that kind of as a you know, a home base to build around. So I was able to take the traits and qualities that are me and I was able to match them with what most people are familiar with in terms of a tourist. And so um, 
the lead track that's off of it, which is the title track, Taurus, um, is basically talking about, you know, being wanted and fond over and, you know, I want you to be enveloped. I want to be the one that's always on your mind. And, you know, just realize that when you mess with someone like me, you'll never want to mess with anyone else. That's <laughs> just the general um, <laughs> tidbit of it. And I figured let's get the easier, more common things out of the way at the start of the album. So being stubborn, you know, I'm that's the most common thing. When people hear bull, they hear stubborn. So I said, let's just go ahead and get yeah. that out of the way then. So that's track number two. And it's gone. Y'all can't say that anymore because we done moved on. <laughs> so once I got that out of the way, I said, now let's delve a little bit more, you know, deep. Let's talk about, you know, being empathetic. Let's talk about... um the aggression let's talk about the angst for you know youth and wishing that we could go back like on songs like time flies or materialistic you know things like on the song more um or even like a love letter that i wrote which is nice you know it's all an embodiment of who i am as a person um okay, but great. also as an artist uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay. Great. Um, that was so amazing to, you know, to hear a little bit about your first set of songs, you know, and the journey and inspiration behind the songs. Now, with that being said, you know, hearing about the inspiration of the songs, do you have any um, future tours coming up? Do you have any future concerts coming up? You know, let us know for our listening audience that would like to follow you um, or where can we actually find your information or your songs apart from the platforms, you know, our regular platforms like Spotify, Apple, and YouTube and so forth. Okay. So, yeah, just to go ahead and state that all of my social media handles are the same. So whether you're on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, or, you know, they call it X now, even Facebook or YouTube. Um, my name is Lolo, L-O-L-O, -L -L, the God, and this is all put together. Um, and that's L-O-L-O-T-H-A-G-O-D. Somebody stole the E from me, so it's an A. So it's Lolo, the God, and that's across all handles. Um, as far as, like, my albums, you can just type in Lolo Taurus. And I'm pretty sure you're going to notice me because you're going to see me with my horns. <laughs> and um, yeah you guys can stream everywhere and you know just look out for more music um Taurus does have a couple of albums underneath um the parent album so I do have Taurus the remixes which is out which is me with six other artists that I that I've infused with my songs um I also have Taurus the acapellas if y'all want to hear me with no music and I have Taurus, the complete edition, so we can close the Taurus chapter out, coming out in May. And it's going to be eight new tracks all by themselves on a standalone EP. Um, I do have live performances that are going to be done at the top of the year, which I'll also be announcing on my social media account. And I have several more music videos that will be out, too, at the top of the year. Okay, great. Now, before we leave, uh, can you give us a little bit of advice to, you know, artists, songwriters who may be starting out just like yourself? What can they do to pursue what you're doing? You know, how can you encourage them on their journey as artists or emerging artists? Um, to You have to really be disciplined while at the same time making sure you're free. I think a lot of us kind of get held down by the nine to five day of living um, or just fear keeping you down. But truth be told, there's discipline and freedom. So you just got to be able to control, you know, where you want your creativity to go and budget, not only money, but budget yourself. Don't put too much of yourself in places that you're not going to grow. And that's my biggest advice on the artistic level. Just kind of not only go for it, but when you go there, make sure you budget out everything so you can actually execute what it is that you're going for. Yes, and I love how you um, started out 
by saying that everything yeah. is based everything on perfect, but I believing in music. What do you believe in? All right, Lolo, we'd and like to thank you so you much like for this start interview. Out. Thank you so uh, much for having sure me. Sure, fanciness is not so much about. Mm, you're welcome. And uh, let us be sure to look out to our social media platforms, where we will be advertising and letting you guys have sneak peek of his music as well. Thank you so much, Lolo, for joining us. You Thank take you. care now. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Bye bye.